Hello there. Today we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series, The Waltons. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. The Waltons is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the Moives with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of The Waltons. Number one, John Walmsley as Jason Walton. As part of the tight knit Walton family, Jason Walton brings youthful energy and musical talent to their story. He expresses his passion for music through soulful guitar playing and creating beautiful melodies. Jason's musical abilities not only bring joy to his family, but also inspire viewers. In addition to his musical talent, Jason is known for his compassionate and empathetic nature, adding depth to his character. John Walmsley, known for his role as Jason Walton in The Waltons, gained popularity on the show not only for his acting, but also for his beautiful singing voice. His musical contributions to the series endeared him to audiences, and he has continued to nurture his talent to this day. Walmsley had the opportunity to work alongside legendary musician Merle Haggard in an episode of The Waltons, which may have influenced his musical journey. He later performed a tribute to Merle at the 45th anniversary Walton Weekend, showcasing his admiration for the iconic artist. In addition to his acting career, Walmsley is also recognized for originating the voice of Christopher Robin in the Winnie the Pooh cartoons, adding another dimension to his versatile talent. While his last acting credit dates back to 2009 and 2010, where he lent his voice to two Christmas TV movies, Walmsley has primarily focused on his musical career. He has composed and published approximately 13 albums, with his most recent release titled Goin' to Clarksdale in 2017. Jason Walton played by John Walmsley when he was 16 years old, and now he is 67 years old. Number 2. Mary Beth McDonough as Aaron Walton our protagonist, Aaron, exudes a captivating charm that sets hearts racing and minds pondering. With a twinkle in her eye and a mischievous smile, she would drop hints like breadcrumbs, drawing the good reverend into her romantic labyrinth. Oh, the tantalizing game she played. Mary McDonough, known for her role as the second oldest daughter on The Waltons, has transformed her success from the show into a lifelong career in the entertainment industry. Remarkably, her journey began with The Waltons' pilot movie, marking her very first acting audition. Over the course of ten years, McDonough honed her skills and became an experienced actress, continuing to work in Hollywood beyond The Waltons. Her versatility led her to roles in popular TV shows such as The Love Boat, Will and & Grace, and The New Adventures of Old Christine, Despite facing challenges, including battling lupus, an immune disorder, McDonough remained dedicated to her craft. In 2018, she embarked on a deeply personal project by adapting her own novel into a hallmark movie titled Christmas on Honeysuckle Lane, where she not only co-starred, but also contributed to the production. Her commitment to her work persisted, as evidenced by her appearance in the 2022 film The Contested Plains. Aaron Walton, played by Mary Beth McDonough, when she was 11 years old, and now she is 62 years old. Number 3. Eric Scott as Ben Walton Ben is the kind of guy whose heart overflows with love and loyalty for his family. He's fiercely protective of his parents and siblings, always standing by them when they need him most. Their close-knit bond is the foundation of their unity, and Ben would do anything to keep it strong, even if it means stepping up to defend them in their toughest moments. Beloved actor Eric Woods has had a prolific career in Hollywood, appearing in various television shows over the years. He made notable acting appearances on popular series such as Quantum Leap, 1988-1993, Walker, Texas Ranger, 
CBS, 1992-2001, and Diagnosis Murder, CBS, 1993-2001. Additionally, he graced the screen in Fired Up, NBC, 1996-98, and took on several other television roles throughout the 90s, including guest appearances on Ally McBeal, 1997-2002, Charmed, Warner Brothers Television Network, 1998-2006, and Judging Amy, CBS, 1999-2005. As his career progressed, Woods ventured into film roles, starring in the Richard Grieco action film Mutual Needs, 1997, and appearing in the western Jonah Hex, 2010, alongside Josh Brolin, as well as the horror feature Sand Sharks, 2012, with Gina Holden. He was also featured in the TV movie Millennium Man, UPN, 1999-2000, most recently, Woods graced the screen in Wrong Swipe, Lifetime 2015. Ben Walton played by Eric Scott when he was 14 years old, and now he is 64 years old. Number 4. Kami Kotler as Elizabeth Walton Elizabeth is a girl who marches to the beat of her own drum, unyielding in her convictions and not easily influenced by others. Despite her kind and loving nature, she often finds herself the target of teasing when she makes innocent mistakes or says something silly. In moments of solitude, she finds comfort in the presence of her faithful doll, offering her solace and companionship when loneliness sets in. Actress Kami Kotler is widely recognized for her portrayal of the young Elizabeth Walton on the beloved family television series The Waltons. Kotler began her role as Elizabeth Walton at the age of six in the 1971 TV movie The Homecoming, A Christmas Story. The success of the movie led to the creation of the series, which became one of the most popular shows of the decade. Kotler went on to appear in over 200 episodes of the series from 1971 to 1981. Additionally, she had recurring roles on the sitcom Me and the Chimp and the TV movie The Heist. Following the conclusion of The Waltons, Kotler continued to be involved in sporadic Waltons reunion TV movies throughout the 1980s and 1990s. She appeared in films such as 1982's A Wedding on Walton's Mountain and 1993's A Walton Thanksgiving Reunion. However, Kotler eventually decided to leave acting behind and pursued a career as a schoolteacher in the Los Angeles area. She is now a married mother of two children. Elizabeth Walton played by Kami Kotler when she was seven years old, and now she is 57 years old. Number 5. Judy Norton as Mary Ellen Walton Mary Ellen's character is defined by her steadfast dedication to making a meaningful difference in the lives of others. Opting for a career in nursing, she exemplifies a deep-seated desire to provide healing and solace to those who are suffering. However, it's not merely her professional aspirations that distinguish Mary Ellen. At the very heart of her essence lies an endless reservoir of compassion that knows no limits. Mary Ellen Walton, portrayed by Judy Norton, was adored by audiences as the eldest daughter of the Walton family. The role of Mary Ellen as a nurturing nurse was highly praised, endearing her to viewers who saw her as an essential part of the family dynamic. After her time on the Waltons, Judy Norton made a significant departure from her wholesome image by posing nude for the August 1985 issue of Playboy magazine. This bold move aimed to shed her family-friendly persona and transition into more diverse acting roles. Following this, she continued to pursue her acting career and achieved considerable success, alongside Richard Thomas, another Walton's cast member. In her most recent appearances, Norton Taylor was seen in Off Season, Showtime, 2001-102 showcasing her continued dedication to her craft and versatility as an actress. Mary Ellen Walton played by Judy Norton when she was 14 years old, and now she is 65 years old. Number 6. David Harper as Jim Bob Walton Jim Bob is a bit of a dreamer, 
often lost in his own thoughts and aspirations for the future, which sometimes leads him to neglect his responsibilities around the farm. He tends to dismiss certain situations as dumb. Jim Bob's passion lies in all things mechanical, particularly cars, and he enjoys tinkering with them, often constructing his own vehicles using spare parts scavenged from the junkyard. David Harper is most recognized for his portrayal of Jim Bob Walton in the beloved family television series, The Waltons. His journey into acting began with a stroke of luck, as his debut role was in the 1971 television movie The Homecoming, A Christmas Story, which served as the precursor to the successful launch of The Walton series the following year. The show enjoyed immense popularity during its run from 1972 to 1981. In his role as Jim Bob Walton, the youngest member of the Walton family, Harper depicted a character initially fascinated by aviation, though later compelled to pursue a career as a mechanic due to vision issues. Following the conclusion of the Waltons, Harper continued to participate in occasional Waltons-themed television movies throughout the 1980s and 1990s. These included productions such as A Wedding on Walton's Mountain, A Walton Thanksgiving Reunion, and A Walton Easter, among others. While Harper also secured minor roles in films like the 1985 Chevy Chase mystery comedy Fletch, his primary focus remained on Walton's related reunion projects. Ultimately, Harper decided to retire from acting, marking the end of his on-screen career. Jim Bob Walton played by David Harp when he was 11 years old, and now he is 61 years old. Number 7. Earl Hamner Jr. as the narrator. The narrator acts as a storyteller, providing viewers with insights and reflections on the lives of the Walton family. Through a calming and melodious voice, the narrator immerses audiences in the world of the Waltons, vividly depicting their rural life during the Great Depression and World War EI. Earl Henry Hamner Jr., July 10, 1923. March 24, 2016, was an American television writer and producer, often credited as Earl Hamner, renowned for his work in the 1970s and 1980s as the creator of two enduring series, The Waltons and Falcon Crest. As a novelist, he gained recognition for Spencer's Mountain, a work inspired by his own upbringing, which served as the basis for both a film and the television series, The Waltons for which he provided voiceover narration. Additionally, he created Apple's Way, 1974-1975, and Boone, 1983-1984. Hamner often used family names as titles for his projects, drawing from his paternal grandmother, Susan Henry Spencer Hamner, for Spencer's Mountain, and his paternal grandfather, Walter Clifton Hamner, and great-grandfather, Walter Leland, Hamner for the Waltons. The narrator was played by Earl Hamner when he was 49 years old. Sadly, Hamner died in Los Angeles, California, of bladder cancer on March 24, 2016, aged 92. Number 10. Michael Learned as Olivia Walton. Olivia emanates a motherly, sweet, and compassionate aura, deeply rooted in her religious beliefs and devotion to her family and home. Despite her gentle demeanor, she upholds high standards of posture and manners and isn't hesitant to scold or discipline her children for misbehavior. The mother of the Walton family had a story similar to that of the father's. She was working in San Francisco, doing stage acting at ACT, until a television producer saw her work and cast her in his new family series, The Waltons. Originally billed in the credits as Miss Michelle Learned, her performance as Olivia Walton garnered widespread respect and landed her three Emmy Awards. Despite being only 11 years older than Richard Thomas, who played her oldest child, John Boy, she anchored the show as the matriarch of the Mountain family. After the success of The Waltons, she was in high demand and made appearances in shows like Gunsmoke. She later returned fully to TV with Nurse, for which she won a fourth Emmy Award. Her most recent acting credit was in the Netflix horror original Dahmer Monster.
the Jeffrey Dahmer story as Dahmer's mother in 2022. At 84 years old, she voiced her support for nurses and caregivers amid the coronavirus pandemic, expressing sadness for those who have died and pride for the nurses and caregivers who are receiving praise. Olivia Walton, played by Michael, learned when she was 33 years old, and now she is 84 years old. Number 11, Ellen Corby as Esther Walton. Esther epitomizes strength, independence, and determination, characteristics that define her as a formidable woman. While she may come across as gruff at times, her love for her family runs deep. Her strong religious beliefs are evident in her unwavering commitment to attending church on Sundays, where the preaching often extended throughout the day during her youth. Ellen Corby was small and prim, with a face that didn't easily lend itself to smiling. Yet she appeared in supporting and small roles in dozens of films and TV programs. However, it was her Emmy Award-winning portrayal of the no-nonsense Grandma Esther Walton on the CBS TV series The Waltons, 1972-1979, and in subsequent TV reunion movies that truly defined her career. As Grandma Walton, Corby appeared in the show for five seasons, perfectly embodying the hardened yet lovable character. Her path to success was not easy, as she struggled as a young actress, spending long hours pleading for work outside RKO Studios until finally securing a job as a script reader. Corby's dedication and talent eventually led her to the Emmys, where she won three awards for her work on The Waltons. With 265 acting credits to her name, she became a television powerhouse, appearing in numerous shows from Lassie to Hawaii 5 0. Although primarily known for her television work, she also made a few notable appearances in films, including an uncredited role in It's a Wonderful Life early in her career. Esther Walton was played by Ellen Corby when she was 61 years old. Sadly, in 1999, following several years of declining health, Corby died at age 87 at the Motion Picture and Television Country House and Hospital in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles. Number 12, Richard Thomas as John Boy Walton. John Boy Walton was deeply devoted to his family and had a special bond with his siblings. He was known for his exceptional manners, politeness, and friendliness, although he could be quite talkative. John Boy was determined and independent, always standing up for what he believed was right. He defended righteousness wholeheartedly and often became deeply passionate during conversations. Despite a lifetime of talent and training, actor Richard Thomas would always be closely associated with his role as John Boy Walton, the earnest eldest son of The Waltons, CBS, 1972-1981. Coming from a New York show business family, Thomas made his Broadway debut at age seven and later appeared in films like Winning, 1969, alongside Paul Newman. By the time he took on the leading role in The Waltons, he was already gaining recognition as a gifted young star, with notable performances in films like Last Summer, 1971. Thomas continued to receive praise for his work, including his portrayal of Hank Williams, Jr. in the music biopic Living Proof the Hank Williams, Jr. Story, NBC 1983, and his role in the television miniseries It, ABC 1990. Balancing television and theatrical projects, he participated in acclaimed stage productions like The Stendhal Syndrome in 2004 and Race in 2009. Despite his enduring association with the Waltons, Thomas remained committed to seeking out new challenges as an actor, showcasing his versatility and talent on both screen and stage. John Boy Walton played by Richard Thomas when he was 21 years old, and now he is 51 years old. Number 13. Leslie Winston as Cindy Walton Cindy is a loving and supportive wife to Ben, a caring mother to Virginia and Charlie, a devoted sister to her siblings, and a cherished daughter to John and Olivia. She adores her entire family and is willing to go to great lengths for their happiness and well-being. Her last appearance was in A Walton Thanksgiving Reunion, 
and she was not mentioned in the last two movies. Leslie Winston, best known for her role on the long-running family drama The Waltons, discovered her passion for acting through her high school drama teacher. She pursued her love for acting by majoring in drama in college, but eventually dropped out to pursue a career in the field. In 1978, she landed her first TV role on BJ and the Bear, a comedy series centered around the adventures of a highway trucker and his pet chimp. The following year, Winston made her debut on The Waltons in the episode titled The Outsider, portraying the character Cindy. She appeared in over 40 episodes of the Gentle Family drama, which depicted the experiences of a rural Virginia family during the Great Depression and World War II. After the Waltons concluded in 1981, Winston returned to reprise her role in the TV sequels A Wedding on Walton's Mountain and A Day for Thanks on Walton's Mountain. She also guest-starred on the primetime medical drama Marcus Welby, M.D., and made her final TV appearance in the 1993 made-for-TV movie A Walton Thanksgiving Reunion. Cindy Walton played by Richard Thomas when she was 22 years old, and now she is 67 years old. Number 14. Peggy Rhea as Rose Burton Rose is traditional in her approach to raising her grandchildren, emphasizing the importance of good manners. In The Spirit, it's disclosed that she hopes Jeffrey will continue to believe in Santa Claus for as long as possible, as she dreads the thought of his eventual realization. Peggy Rhea began her acting career with a minor recurring role on the classic sitcom I Love Lucy. She landed this role while working as a secretary for CBS Radio, marking the beginning of her television career portraying heavyset, motherly, and sometimes domineering characters. Before her television debut on I Love Lucy, Rhea appeared in the Cole Porter Broadway musical Out of This World and toured nationally in a production of A Streetcar Named Desire, alongside actor Anthony Quinn. A year after joining The Waltons, Rhea became part of the cast of The Dukes of Hazard as Boss Hogg's wife, Lulu. Her character was known for her love of food and often challenged her husband's authority. In the 1990s, Rhea had two significant recurring roles on family-based sitcoms. She played the no-nonsense mother of Suzanne Somers' character on Step by Step, and portrayed the ex-mother-in-law of Brett Butler's character on Grace Under Fire. These roles marked the end of her acting career. Rose Burton was played by Peggy Rhea when she was 58 years old. Sadly, Rhea died in Toluca Lake, California, aged 89, from complications of heart failure on February 5, 2011. As we reflect on the incredible journey of the Waltons cast from 1972 to 1981, witnessing their growth and transformations, it's evident that the bond forged during those years has left an enduring legacy. From thrilling highway pursuits to heartwarming moments, these actors brought the California Highway Patrol to life. Their stories continue to resonate with fans around the world. As we explore their then and now, we celebrate the enduring impact of the Waltons. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down the California highways with the remarkable The Waltons cast of yesteryear.